I believe that this is the first time that we're actually seriously talking about bamboo. My dear friends, the uh, Mindanao Bamboo Industry Program is just part of a bigger program which we call Greening Mindanao. This program was uh, launched when I moved from the DA to uh, Minda in August of uh, 2019. I personally initiated this program knowing how critical uh, the protection of our environment uh, is to agriculture and nobody can deny Meron kasi nagsabi sa akin, bakit ang Minda para nakapokus sa agriculture and fisheries? Sabi ko, balikan niyo muna yung mandato ng Minda. Ano ba yung mandato ng Minda? Socio-economic development of Mindanao. Take away agriculture and fisheries from Mindanao. What do you have? Nothing. The backbone, the foundation of Mindanao's economy is agriculture and fisheries. That is why we really, if we want to improve the economy of Mindanao, we really have to work on our potentials as an agriculture and fisheries producer of the country. We must always look at productivity as the key component of any effort of government to develop Mindanao or the whole country for that matter. Bakit maraming mga asawa natin ang naandun sa Saudi Arabia nagiging katulong? Sapagkat walang opportunity dito. Sapagkat yung ginagawa nila sa bukit, hindi may productivity nga, wala namang income. Productivity is coupled with profitability. Hindi ka pwedeng mag-target ng production ng production lang without assuring that the people who are producing are making money for them to realize that, hey, life is better here. So, ang target talaga natin dyan, na dumating ang panahon, na yung ating productivity initiatives in Mindanao will result in a family together at night. No more wives, daughters, and children working abroad. No more broken families. That is our emotional message. Walo sa ating probinsya ang nasa sampung pinakamahirap na probinsya sa buong Pilipinas. Why? I couldn't understand that. Nasa atin ang lahat ng kayamanan. Nasa atin ang minahan, nasa atin ang gubat, nasa atin ang karagatan, nasa atin ang magandang klima. Why are we poor? So we really have to address poverty reduction. Now, lahat ng ginagawa natin ngayon, mga kaibigan, is related to how we take care of our environment and our forest. Given the fact that we are an agricultural and fisheries region, lahat ng gagawin natin, and Bobby understands this, lahat ng gagawin natin, nakaangkla kung paano natin pinapangalagaan yung ating kapaligiran ng kabundukan sapagkat doon nagmumula ang tubig na ginagamit natin sa ating agrikultura. Without the water, we're nothing. I'd like to share with you this very, very scary uh, data. The Mindanao forest situation from 1900s to the present. Noong 1900s, ito ang Mindanao, berding berde. Meron lang mang ilang-ilang mga areas na walang kahoy, but these are the population centers. Now, 20 years later, kumonte yung green. 40 years later, it shrunk further. Ten years later, ayan na. Ito yung grabing pananalasa ng mga laging uh, companies. The periods between the period between 1960 to 1980. Ito yung pananalasa ng mga laging companies. So talagang uh, kinalbo yung kabundukan. Ayan ang naiwan sa atin as of 1970. As of 1987, this is where we are. 2002, ayan na lang. My dear friends, this is dangerous. Because you have to understand that in food production, there are three vital components. One, sunlight. Because you need that for photosynthesis. Number two, land, which serves as the anchor if you plant. Pero lahat yan, pwede mong i-substitute. Pwede ka mag-artificial light. Pwede ka mag-hydroponics. But the third component of agriculture that you cannot substitute is water. Walang pwedeng ipalit sa tubig. Therefore, kapag hindi natin inalagaan itong ating kagubatan, 
what, or whatever remains of it, we will have a problem with agriculture. If there's no water, there's no agriculture. It's going to be irresponsible if we're going to ask people to plant, 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 and there's no post-harvest facility. No? So, otherwise they become poor, poor, poor. No? So, it has to be hand in hand because it is part of the link. No? And usually, the post-harvest facility is easily no? the most undesirable portion of the link. No? Because it needs high volume but very small margin. And yet, it is very critical because it is central in the value chain. So we need to invest. And in this case, if we have 100,000 hectares of bamboo, we have to invest at least 15 billion pesos of post-harvest facility. And that post-harvest facility will be able to generate 42.5 billion. Protecting the environment is a continuing journey and DPP sets no limit on how wide or broad our network of green advocacy should be. Prospective forest partners must thus be guided by this participation criteria. Indeed, a partnership for the environment is always a worthy undertaking and DBP will remain an untiring advocate of environmental preservation and responsibility.